Okay, today we're going to look at the Donaldson DBL7349 oil filter. And you can get this at Diesel Equipment Inc. for $15.13. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the box. It says made in Mexico. Let's see what the filter says. Open her up. Now she's covered in plastic. And this is your big boy oil filter. This is for your Cummings diesel engines. It has a big, big filter. Let's get it open. Wrap her up nice. That's that's good. And what do you got here? Six, eight inlet holes. I believe that's a metal core. With louvers. Let's see how the O-ring is. It's on there pretty good. It's on there pretty good. This is a big boy filter. Ooh, big blue. And it says made in Mexico also on here. Let's see if you pick that up. Made in Mexico by Donaldson. Synthetic filtration. Okay, well, it's supposed to be, I'm going to put this on a little better here, yeah. This fits on nice and snug. This is supposed to fill down to 99% at 15 microns. And I don't believe it has a bypass valve either. So, uh, let's cut this baby open and see what she looks like inside. Okay, I forgot to show you guys the date code. November 4th, 20, 247. And this thing's got a big spring in it. Heavy duty spring. Let's check this out. See if this stays up. It doesn't want to stand too good. Okay, there it goes. So there's your base plate. Typical base plate. Let's see how much she weighs. Let's see what the whole filter weighs. If I can get it. Uh, now let's get the base plate. 6.4 ounces. Pretty heavy. Now let's see if I can get this on there. 20.4 ounces. <laughs> I think that's by far the heaviest filter I ever weighed. Okay. Yeah, this is this is heavy duty. I think everything on this filter is heavy duty. You got this rubber insert here. Imagine to keep it tight. Hold on like that. Yeah. Keep it all nice and tight. And what I count here, 39 pleats, and this looks like a heavy duty filter material. With a crimp metal seam, metal end caps. Let's get some measurements. Well, let's measure the can first. I was getting a 0 0.5, which is pretty good. Yeah, 0 0.5. It's pretty thick. Well built can. And you got your spring in there too. It's a heavy duty one, the size of this thing. Okay. Let's get some measurements on this. Put this up to uh, inches. Oh. 
5.03 inches. And get the width this way. 2.73 inches. Yeah, it's big. It's a well made filter. Uh, you said it's a synthetic media. And um, I said earlier 99% at 15 microns, which is real good micron rating. This has got a little dirt on it, but. I don't think it's nothing. It's just, I don't think I did it. it. Just happened. I don't know. It's already on there. Well, you know what? Let's cut this baby open and see how long she is. Okay, here she is all stretched out. And she's 53 inches long. Well, that's a lot of filter media. Okay, so here's your seam, and this filter has a metal screen backing to it, similar to the the Wix XPs and the Fram Ultras. So this is a very, very strong filter, very strong filter media. And at being at 99% at uh, 15 microns, that's pretty good filtration numbers. I just don't know why it doesn't have a bypass valve. Maybe they're... Maybe they're built into the engines or something. I don't know. This just goes on like that. I think it's just to keep it kind of tight, maybe. And um, look at this. Look at this spring. This is heavy duty. And this is like you know your typical, typical metal core, I guess. It's got a lot of louvers. But yeah, it's a pretty heavy duty filter. And on the next video, I'll be comparing this Donaldson Blue filter to this filter here, the Napa Gold 1607. I'll make a comparison video, see which one is best. Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, Please give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and take care.